An area that received a lot of attention in the current year of Yearbook Fusion is usability. We've made it uh, literally one click to build a yearbook panel, assuming that you've got a correctly configured PSPA CD. So this is what the CD looks like normally, with file names, grades, and so on. But you'll notice that we've added a new field called Department. Um, students are called the, they're all in the student department, and you'll see that uh, there's groups for faculty and support and administration and so on. That's part of the PSPA 2010-11 uh, spec. LumaPix is a member of the, of the advisory board, and we uh, managed to get the spec changed to include this. What this does is it makes it s simple at import time to say, oh, if this person is a member of the administration, then they belong on staff pages, and um, they can all be grouped together by department. We've also added two optional fields, title and salutation. Um, if you want to know if it's Miss Jones or Mrs. Jones, the salutation will allow you to, um, to specify that. And for students, you don't actually need a salutation. And for the title, most students, you'll never see the title, but uh, it's nice to know on a staff page the difference between a teacher and an assistant teacher, um, that kind of thing. These are all optional. You don't need to have a title or a salutation. Um, we really recommend having the department field filled out because it makes the presets work, as I'll show you. Um, just to put your mind at ease, if you receive a PSPA CD that doesn't include a department field, you can easily add this information uh, in the organizer. Uh, let me just very quickly show that. Um, once you've done the import, you can simply select an individual and say make into uh, administration, staff, and so on. And that will set the fields which are used by the preset. So it's really uh, literally a one-click operation to build, uh, let's say, students by teacher. So this is going through the database and finding everybody who is marked the right way um, to show up on the student pages. And you see we've now got 11 pages and it took me one click to build this entire book. There's the Derock class, there's the Germain class, there's the Iber class, and, and so on. It was one click. It was very simple to do. I can change my mind and say let's do it by grade and it once again goes through and rebuilds everything. So th these are presets. You can save your own. If you've set up some configuration you like, you can say save it as a preset and then the choice will show up in this list. Now, um, the, the top level preset controls everything and to show you what that feels like, I'll say um, choose a completely different style of layout. Uh, the staff pages, they're, they're different. The labels are underneath, the headers are centered, um, everything is centered on the page, and it's grouping by the department that people work in. I see that I've got two pages, on page two the support staff and on page one everybody else, so I'd like to change that. Um, we've taken in simple mode several controls that we think are really useful and brought them together into a single page. So in order to have everybody fit, I want to have a different number of columns. And I'm just dragging to interactively resize the, um, the number of columns like this so that they all fit. The next thing I notice is the, the names are a little bit too small. So here, staying on the simple side of things, I just go to the label size, press and drag left and right, and you see that I can adjust it until everybody fits. This is wonderful. It's literally a couple of clicks to build an entire book. Um, I'm going to go back to the students by teacher to show a few new features as well. Um, you've seen having the labels on the side of the panel and you've seen them underneath the images. We now have a new mode called labels beside image which um, looks like this and if I were to play with a number of columns I'll bring it up to three and then four. You'll see that it's laying it out like that. You've got options whether you want to have picture name or let's say alternating like this. You can play with these options, they're all quite simple, and there aren't so many of them that it's confusing. There's only about 10 things here. So I'll bring this back down to two, simple to work with. Um, I want to point out that there is still the advanced mode. You still have enormous control over the population, the panel layout, the header settings, and so on. But we truly don't think this is going to be necessary for 80 or 90% of the, the time that people are working with this. I'm just going to choose a different preset to show one final new feature here. We're now looking at students by grade, and I want to illustrate locked, which does what you think it does. It basically turns off changes to the panel.
but also manual. This will make people happy because it allows me to select panel frames and move them around. So I can do, for example, this sort of wave effect that I'm building right now. There we go. So you can pick up anybody. Let's grab the teacher and resize him, for example, like this. Um, you have total flexibility to build whatever you like. And that includes rotation and whatever works for you. So you've got uh, a great deal of control uh, this year with your book fusion, but it all winds up being simple. Just click a preset and you're good. <laughs>